Welcome. Uh, let us talk today about the second type of nuclear uh, reactors appropriate for hydrogen economy. It is a very high temperature reactor. If you study this type of nuclear reactors, you will get an impression that, that this type of reactor is designed specially for hydrogen economy, but really it's not. Uh, the <clears throat> very high temperature reactor is gas cooled reactor, is one of the uh, nuclear reactors of the fourth generation. This generation of nuclear reactors uh, focuses on efficiency, this means we need high temperature, and safety, especially passive safety techniques. Okay. So uh, the operation temperature of very high temperature reactor is over 900 degrees Celsius. Okay, and this uh, temperature is suitable for thermochemical processes used to uh, produce hydrogen. The most famous thermochemical process to uh, generate hydrogen is the iodine sulfur technique. Iodine sulfur technique is three phases chemical processes. Two of them are endothermic. This means that these two stages need temperature. Okay. And one of them is uh, exothermic. This means this stage releases. Uh, heat. Okay, uh, it needs over 900 degrees Celsius as operation temperature. And this is the reason behind getting feeling or impression that this type of nuclear reactors is designed especially for iodine sulfur uh, technique. It's just by chance. Okay, and this is how to uh, produce the hydrogen from nuclear uh, energy. Anyhow, the iodine sulfur technique can be produced using very high temperature reactor or concentrated solar power. Both can simply use to uh, facilitate this uh, technique. Later on, we will talk again about the uh, remainder part of the nuclear energy, using the nuclear energy in hydrogen economy. We are getting step by step to the fusion energy of hydrogen isotopes. So the hydrogen has three isotopes, protium, deuterium, and tritium. We will talk about the fusion of hydrogen isotopes to get giant clean hydrogen uh, fusion energy. Thanks a lot.